Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn about the pectoral region muscles, right? So, without wasting time, let's get started with the video. So guys, these muscles basically connect the chest wall to the upper limb, as I have written here. Connect the chest wall to the upper limb. These are basically four, or in some books, uh, the serratus anterior is not included, so it is discarded. So, the three muscles basically. So the first muscle is pectoralis major as it's a pectoral region. So two muscles will be obvious that is pectoralis major and pectoralis minor, right? So let's first study the pectoralis major. The pectoral major muscle, first of all, its shape. Its shape is fan shaped. Now its origin. It has two origin. The first one is clavicular and the second one is sternocostal uh, right so the clavicular head is from the clavicle uh, so the clavic from the clavicle it's from the anterior medial portion of clavicle the second head is from the sternocostal head it is from the anterior sternum or the superior six coastal cartilages right then its insertion now there's a trick for the insertion the lady between two majors it's for the trick of the insertion on the intertubercular sulcus right the lady shows the latissimus dorsi and the two majors are the pectoralis major and the teres teres major right so uh, from here it's clear that its insertion would be on the intertubercular sulcus and um, intertubercular sulcus on the lateral lip right then we have its function now its function is uh, clear and uh, easy that is uh, the adduction and the medial rotation it is the chest wall muscle so it brings the uh, arm or the upper limb towards the chest adduction and medial rotation Then uh, there are two heads have different some functions that is the its clavicular head flexes the humerus flexes humerus while the sternocostal head extend it back to its original position but not extended any more like for example uh, it's just a matter of the fingers but uh, I am talking about the humerus it means the arm region so just to explain you I am doing this that this one is the flexion of the finger and this one is the taking it extending it to its original position while this is the extension of the fingers I am not concerned to the extension of the fingers I am just extending uh, concerned to the extending of the fingers up to either normal or the original position so extending it to its original position normal or the original position right then we have our second muscle that is pectoralis minor its shape is triangular its origin is from the third to the fifth rib then its inser uh, insertion is on the coracoid process of scapula on medial border right then we have our its function now uh, when we take a deep breath so uh, the pectoralis minor help us in taking the deep breath or extending our chest cavity so it elevates the ribs while 
wild deep inspiration The pectoralis minor is useful surgical tool for the structures in the axilla. So, a useful tool for uh, finding structures of of axilla. This reason will be clear to you in my video of axillary artery, right? So then the next thing is with the coracoid process, it's form bridge. As uh, like this is the coracoid process and this is attached to here like this, and so the it forms the bridge so that many vessels can pass through it. So with coracoid process, it forms bridge. under which vessels pass nerves pass then our third muscle is subclavius right so the subclavius in, uh, originates from the junction of the first rib and its coastal cartilage junction of first rib and coastal cartilage right then its insertion its insertion is on the clavicle because it's subclavius it means under the clavius it means on the inferior surface of the clavius oh clavicle inferior surface of clavicle Now it helps in depression of the clavicle. Depresses clavicle. It has one more function that it stabilizes the uh, clavicle and it resists scapula uh, and the clavicular joint. That is acromioclavicular or the scapulo, uh, scapuloclavicular joint to move while uh, the tug war game and the hard pushing. Right? The tug war game is like a uh, there is a rope tied between the uh, one two parties and they stretch that rope to their sides right this is called a tug war again so it resist scapuloclavicular joint while pulling hard during tug war game then our last muscle is serratus anterior it's also called the boxer's muscle and it's saw toothed shape saw tooth uh, means that it has it is originates or inserted in the uh, digitations form so it uh, shows or it appears like the uh, teeth shaped right or the brush shape we can say so it's saw uh, basically the saw is something like this must have seen it so it's digitation is also something like this so it's called saw toothed shape then it originates from the first to the eighth rib and its insertion is on the medial border of scapula its help in the protect uh, protection sorry yes protection of the scapula and the retraction and rotates <coughs> not retraction it's rotates scapula right uh, and yes it helps in the elevating uh, it elevating the glenoid cavity and uh, when the person push uh, do push ups right so it also helps in that so helps in push ups while push ups
by holding scapula against thoracic wall so guys here we are done with our pectoral region muscles hope you like my video like comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you